And with the number of mass shootings seemingly on the rise across the country, we wanted to know how police here in Rhode Island are preparing should something like San Bernardino happen here. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pliner spoke to Rhode Island State Police this afternoon. He continues our in-depth coverage now live from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Mike Shannon, good evening. As unfortunate as this is, I asked state police if these shootings over the years nationwide have made them better at their jobs, learning, studying, upgrading. The answer, yes. We can't have the mentality that's not going to happen here. We have to have the mentality that it is going to happen here, and we have to be prepared for when it does happen. Rhode Island State Police Lieutenant Derek Boric, an expert on active shooter scenarios reflecting on San Bernardino and the Ocean State's preparedness. We spoke with the lieutenant just after learning that California suspects had access to thousands of rounds of ammunition. Police encountering individuals in these times who are comparably armed. It is difficult, it is dangerous to us, but we do have other tools to utilize to make it safer for us. We have a, a, a Lenko Beard Cat armored vehicle we have. We also have uh, uh, shields that we utilize in those type of incidents. So that used to be where a SWAT would you have the shields, but now they're more accessible to people on the road. State police undergo active shooter training every year. They work with municipalities and other agencies coordinating roles in a response. We have uh, different teams that would go in to assist and so if say one agency is in a certain part of a building we may respond and go to another part of the building an enormous turning point came in 1999 pre-columbine we never trained that the law enforcement officers went to the threat we trained that you waited for a SWAT team today we don't do that today we immediate response in there actually going into that building to that gunfight and neutralize the threat now the order of operations law enforcement urges in an active shooter scenario run hide fight Keep that in mind, three-pronged. We're going to take a closer look at schools and workplaces. That's coming up new at 6.30 over on Fox Providence. For now, live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom tonight, I'm Jared Pleiter, Eyewitness News.